are we going? Uh, I don't know. Uh, where's our favorite corner? Does anyone have a favorite corner? Corners can be uh, really fun, actually. I like this corner. Uh, I guess. Corner. It's devoid of furniture. It's our own kingdom. Anyway. Um, dibs. Well, okay, <laughs> well, not the dibs system again. Uh, I'm just gonna... Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> so they, 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 we have to say positive things about ourselves, right? Yeah. Do you want to like For... go in? <laughs> Ten minutes? I think that's accurate. Maybe in of time. Mm -hmm. Come on. Okay. Start. Who's starting? Um, I am feeling very confident. Uh. I am uh fluffy. Oh <gasps> yes. I. Um. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I have cool eyes. <gasps> hey, that's not. An okay, I am. Oh wait, no, it isn't. I am. Bray? No. I. Am a dad? What? <gasps> oh, oh, yeah! Huh? I'm a dad? You are? I a thought you dad. said you've never been in love. A flower dad! Oh. Think I'm a dad? Yeah, see? What's your flower's name? Judy. Judy? Oh, no, we haven't, we haven't, I haven't, like... I was like, who's the we in this situation? <laughs> I haven't, like, thought of a name. I've just called it the Black Lotus. That's kind of a long name. <laughs> Why not? And that's what the mushroom people called it. Lodi um, the Lotus. Lodi! Alex. Yeah, no. Yeah, that Blossoms. Give me some name. Alex is a lovely name. June, <laughs> Junie? Junie, maybe? Um, Junie! Like June! The month! Like, yeah. <laughs> You okay? A hairball. Mm -hmm. Hairball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely a, a hairball. Hairball. Judy Maybe that's a good thing. Hairball. Like... Well, Judy's a plant. Well, Judy can eat things. Oh, right! Dan's flower seems to have caught Annalie's eye as she wanders over to your group. Dan, that's a lovely flower! She exclaims, leaning in to get a better look. This is the Black Lotus. It's special. Dan says. As Dan talks, something in Annalise's expression shifts. Her eyes widen and then narrow within the same breath. Dan, may I see your flower? She asks. <laughs> yeah, of course! Why, why wouldn't I show you? Dan carefully transfers the black lotus to Annalise's extended hand. Unfortunately, I'll have to put this with your other things, Dan. I'm afraid it will get in the way of our treatment. Annalie explains, explains, taking a step back. I promise we'll take really good care of it, okay? Dan hesitates, clearly conflicted. Uh, they were, they were stolen once. I don't, I don't like being separated from them. It's just until after your stay. Can you trust me, Dan? Your flower will be in really good hands, I promise. She swears, offering you a reassuring smile. O okay. Thank you, Dan. Why don't you three get back to your affirmations? I like what was he what I was hearing from you guys. Annalie suggests before turning and walking away. Uh, oh. Well, there goes Lodi. Aww. Well, at least they're going to be kept really safe. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Where were we? Uh, 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 was it my turn? Uh, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's see if. Oh no! It's I am. Um. Ugh. I am going to. <coughs> Do you guys have a headache? I, I have a headache. A headache. No. no yeah. No. I'm a little fuzzy, I guess, but like. 
Yeah, but like, I haven't been isn't that kind of normal well. sometimes? A little bit. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't really feel I like I'm normal so or anything. I don't also, know, I like, so. why is everyone acting so weird? What do you mean? Ooh. Like, you're like, really, really, like, I don't know, relaxed. And then you're so competitive. Am I? Yeah. Yeah, but I always wait. But this, this, but like it's not unusual. I... It's like like a almost like you've had too much uh, at Amir's drink stand. No, but no, I didn't, I'm... didn't drink anything. But that's I'm what always I... like this. Really? Of course, of course, of course I would trust like. people. Of course, like I mean, I feel very, I feel very calm around all these mm -hmm. strangers. I think it's good. But I, think it's I good. mean, like honestly, I'm kind of just. Damien, okay, I... That's too, yeah, that's no, also Damien. weird! Uh, hmm? Damien's being weird, too. Is he? He hates everything! He's not supposed He's to be super competitive me. like that. I mean, seems like he doesn't like me, but that's okay, because I don't like him back. I'm going to win whenever we do another competition! I think there are gonna be more games. Are there gonna be more games? How, how do you, like, how do you talk to him? Like, the, how? But uh, just normal? I don't know. He seems like he has like a stick up his rear. Yeah, look, uh, he's he, he he's but like he's he's kind of hot though in the what? way that like it's brooding, you know. <laughs> well, apparently he has a wife, Maybe. so like, yeah. No, I can't. That's I mean, also I... weird. What the heck? <laughs> oh, headache. Ow. Okay. Wait, wait. What do you what do you mean? That's weird. That's not weird. Annalise stands in the center of the room and claps a few times to get everyone's attention. That was the ten minute mark. Is everyone done? She asks. A general, mur a general murmur of agreement from various groups. Wonderful. That concludes this round of games. Now we're going to move to the core focus of Oasis. Your happiness. And to do that, we're going to have one-on-one, -on -one, or I guess one-on-two consultation with you, with each of you, so we can really dig deep and hear what happiness means from each of you. That way, by the end of your time here, you should know what it means to be, to have the. Wait. You should know what it, what needs to happen in your life to get that happiness. Sound good? Once again, the various groups voice their agreement. Annalie beams. Awesome. When it's when it's your turn, Altair and I will call you back to the counseling room. Counseling room. Until then, feel free to do whatever. Get some rest, play some games, and chat with your new friends. We'll move on to some more activities after. Just give me and Altair a moment to make sure everything is ready, and we and we'll start calling you in. She says. Altair walks to her to her side, and they both head to another room. Ooh, Ooh you, okay. Have you, tried, like, do, have you tried yoga before? I, I'm, oh, like, yoga? Having yoga, yeah. It's mm. just kind of like this Does, thing. like, military stretch, stretching count? No. Mm. No, ah. no, 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 no. Do you do yoga? No, no. Kind of. I mean, I'm a little flexible. I mean, I hope I, I, I'm just distracted. only a little bit. I'm not, like, Casey flexible or anything. That that guy. Oh, that oh my guy. God, yeah, he hasn't come and killed me yet. That's good though. That's he hasn't insane, come. Like I haven't right. seen him. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, headache. Oh. Um. Okay, what the heck is happening? Is it these things? Ah! Yeah, okay. What? <laughs> okay, okay. <clears throat> uh, God, this place is a maze. What's in here? Oh, here's the front entrance. Okay. <clears throat> Why is the door locked? Huh? I don't want them to be suspicious. No one's gonna be up here. 
Okay. Okay. <coughs> In here? Oh, I'm a little tired! Ah, headache. Stupid little... Stupid sticks. Stupid sticks? What is this? Stupid sticks? There's so many of them in here. Uh, storage room. Oh my god. Melons. <laughs> I... Okay, we don't... That could be someone's. Is there anything in this? No. Empty. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I won't need a sword. I, I, there's no reason for that. Another one! <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> I'm fine. Okay. Uh, okay. Just, hmm. Okay. Think, think. What do we need to do? Hmm. Bedroom. Okay. I need to find... The flower. I need to find the flower. What? Hey, Annalie, please decorate this room. Empty room. Smile. No. But thinking room. No. But... No. Okay. Fine. What? I guess she decorated it. There's a little guy in here. Oh my gosh. A lantern. Where's... Where's my boomerang? Where's the mine? Okay. Gotta knock some sense in these people. Ow, headache. Okay. Maybe knocking sense is... I'm going to make things worse. Eeny, meeny, miny. This one. Paper. Sticks. Ah! There's so much stuff. Oh. Paper helmet. Oh, it's paper. Okay. Books. Ugh. Do I grab a weapon? Do I need a weapon? I kind of want that helmet. I kind of... Hold on. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll take that. We'll take that. No one will miss it. Where am I? What's in here? A bedroom. Awesome. Okay. No one's up here, right? another bedroom more storage more sticks which ones are these they're different huh oh paper airplane that's cool wait don't get distracted don't get distracted okay 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 <coughs> gosh this room okay here we go this looks like storage is there anything a chest inside of a chest. Awesome. <laughs> Let me peek, sees. What's in here? Anything? <sighs> okay. How about here? <gasps> there we go! Um. Take this. This. I'll just take. We can use this to get out. We can use that. Okay. Um. After wandering the hallways for some time, you eventually find yourself in what looks to be some kind of storage room or something. You look around the room at the various items. The more you focus on the items, the quicker you realize the items in the room are the ones that were confiscated when you were when you and your friends got through the oasis. No way. Ow. 
You went to, and put your hand on your head, as, and you noticed your headache again. You try to ignore the pain and walk deeper into the room, getting a closer look at the items. Some of the things you notice, you notice quickly are your boomerang, Damien's wand, and, da and Dan's odd plant, which is pulsating rhythmically in the corner of the room. You look around and you decide to grab a boomerang first. That's, yes. Of course, it would only make sense for you to grab your own items first. You walk over to the shelf with the boomerang. You walk over to the shelf that the boomerang is placed on and reach out to grab it. You inspect the wooden toy for a moment, making sure it isn't broken in any way. Aside from the busts and scratches it's received from being used as a weapon. Now you're actually now that you're actually looking at it, the poor thing has seen better days. You wonder if it's still you wonder how it's still intact after all of this time. You should maybe invest in a new weapon at some point. Who knows how long this thing will last. You pocket the boomerang and move to the next item. Uh let's get the wand. You turn and reach out to the wand on the other shelf. You feel the vaguely familiar tingling sensation in your fingers as you grab the wand. This is the same feeling you felt when you accidentally stole the wand from Damien when you first met. Boy, was that a crazy day. <clears throat> you stare at the wand, slowly flipping it around in your hands. The reddish-orange orb at the tip of it glows slightly, and sparkles, and sparkles of magic fall from it as you swing it around. You pause. The temptation to shoot whatever spell is loaded into the wand is very strong. Oh... <sighs> Ooh. Ooh. Intrusive thoughts. <laughs> you glance around the room, supposedly to check if anyone's watching. Obviously, no one is. You're alone in the room, of course. After a quick check, you swing the wand towards the wall and fire the spell. Average Cadabra! A bright, hot flash of orange shoots from the wand and hits the wall, scorching it. A small piece of the wall falls to the floor and flames begin to rise from the fallen piece. Uh oh. Uh, put it out, put it out, put it out! You rush over to the growing flames and desperately try to stomp them out with your feet and tail. Luckily, the fire was small enough to be put out, put out, but not without burning a little bit of tail floof. <sighs> you sign relief as the fire dies out. You glance at the wand and decide to. Pr it's probably not a good idea to play with fire magic. Carefully putting the wand away, you turn your focus to the last item that caught your eye. Okay, little flower, what's so special about you? You take a closer look at the little black flower, sitting in the corner of the room. It sits quietly it sits quietly pulsating as if it were breathing. You get closer to get a better look, to see the petals move in move in a waving motion. Did it did it just wave at me? You look at the flower once more to see the petals move again. It has it slowly gestures for you to come closer. Um, hi, little flower. How are you? You reach one of your hands towards it. The flower slowly tries to wrap its stem around your for around your fingers, almost mimicking a hug. You carefully lift the flower into your hands and bring it closer to you. Hey, little buddy. You smile at the flower. The petals move again, move again joyfully as it's trying to smell as if it's trying to smell back. While holding the flower, you begin to notice the overwhelming smell from earlier isn't as strong anymore. You can actually breathe with, the, with this flower around. <gasps> All right, you're sticking with me, little guy. <laughs> Let me out. Let's go, little buddy. Okay. <coughs> oh God, don't, sorry, I still, it's remnants. Get rid of this stuff. Um, let's put our helmet on. I'm ready. Wait. Okay, my helmet is on. I'm ready. I'm ready to... to... We're ready. Helmet acquired. We're ready to go. Okay, little flower. You will be my guiding... My guiding force. And my way of breathing fresh air. Okay. <clears throat> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe, okay. Is there anything else that I missed in here, actually? Oh, yeah. Don't want to miss these things. Is that? That must be swans. Okay. And then, 
Anything else? I think that. I think that's all of it. Okay. I will keep you lo safe, little flower. You'll be my my protector, and I will be yours. Okay. Now. Hmm. My headache is kind of gone now that this little guy's here. Oh. You continue to walk down the hall, staring intently at the lotus in your hands. As it shifts, it pedal. As it shifts its petals, guiding you through the labyrinth. The petals suddenly perk up, signaling, you, signaling for you to stop as you turn a corner. You heed its warning and pause in your tracks. What's wrong, guy? What's wrong, little guy? You look down, down the hall to see a familiar blue-haired dread at the other end of it. You gasp slightly and hide back around the corner, hoping that, you, hoping that he didn't notice you. After a few seconds, you poke your head around the corner. It seems he didn't see you. Good. Hmm. You continue to watch the dread as he continues his way through the halls. He pauses in front of a door before opening it and stepping inside. You take this opportunity to step out of your hiding place and continue your way down the hall. However, you pause at the door that he went through. Hmm. Listen. You slowly move closer and peek through the little window on the door. You see two figures within the room. The first is Saltaire. Obviously, you just saw him enter the room. The second one, however, is Damien. He sits at a table in the center of the room. Damien greets Saltaire as the blue-haired dread goes to sit across from him. Saltaire nods and says something to Damien as he holds the tea kettle out. Due to his gesture, you can assume that he offered to pour Damien some tea. Or is it really tea in the kettle? What if it's poison? Okay, okay, wait, chill out. You're jumping to conclusions. <laughs> you calm yourself a bit and shift your ears to, to hear the conversation through the door. Altair speaks as he pours Damien some tea. Careful, it's very hot. Altair finishes pouring the tea and sets the kettle to the side. Damien blows on the tea to cool it down a bit before taking a sip of it. The moment he takes a sip, however, he cringes, moving the cup away and coughing a bit. Oh, no, is this poison? I warned you, Altair says. Damien sets the tea down on the table. No, it's bitter. Oh, and why is that? You didn't add anything to sweeten it. Try adding some sugar or honey next time. Mm-hmm. Altair takes a pen and some paper and jots some things down on the, on the paper. He looks back up at Damien. What about you? What do you mean? Why are you so bitter? Damien hesitates to answer. You notice him lose his composure ever so slightly. Is it because you're afraid of getting too close to others? Altair continues. You... are you afraid you'll hurt them? No, I... Are you afraid they'll hurt you? Shut up. You've been hurt before, haven't you? Shut up! Damien slams his hands down on the table and stands up. Huh? Damien? Damien glares down at Altair. His eyes are filled with rage, but there's a somber glint in them. Altair stares up at Damien, completely unfazed at the other dreads' outburst. No need to get all worked up. Altair says as he lights one of those weird sticks you've been you've seen placed all over. I only want to help you. You. Damien seems to relax as the smoke fills the air. He lowers himself back down into his seat and stares at the smoke. There's a moment of silence before Damien reaches out and grabs the stick from its stand. Wow, these weird sticks work fast. Take it with you when you leave. It'll keep any negative feelings you have in check. So, we're done here? Yes, Altair says. You notice him glance, glance at you through the window of the door. It seems someone is waiting. <laughs> oh, no, she, you, she shite. <coughs> <clears throat> you stumble away from the door in a slight panic. Oh no, he saw you. You're busted now. <laughs> you calm... No, calm down, play cool, just pretend you didn't hear anything. You totally weren't listening to their conversation. 
Your thoughts are interrupted when the door opens and Damien steps out. Marshy? I totally wasn't listening! He stares at you for a moment before narrowing, narrowing his eyes suspiciously. Uh-huh. He says, pausing for a moment. What did you hear? You don't let him finish before interrupting him. Oh, we gotta go! You grab him and push him in front of you. Ah, Marshy! Damien, Damien yelps as you continue to shove him down the hall away from the room of Altair. You glance back at the room to see Altair peek out from, peek out at you with a raised eyebrow. I'm borrowing this one! What does that mean? Damien snaps back at you. You ignore him and, pr and proceed to push him further away. Altair says nothing in response as he watches you both leave. Okay. Where's the exit? Uh. Okay. 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 Uh. Come here! Get over here! <laughs> Come here! Um, um, in here, in here, in here. Okay, it's safe. It's safe. Okay. Close that door! Thank you. Okay. <sighs> okay. Everything's fine. It's all- it's all okay. What just happened? <sighs> okay. Uh, let's just keep moving this way, away from the blue guy, because the blue guy cannot be trusted. Um, in here. Yeah, this is a safe room. Oh, right, you could stop pushing me around now, Damien says as you push him around the corner and and he turns to face you. What is wrong with you? You're acting super weird. It's because of those stupid sticks! Damien stares at you for a moment before holding up the stick that he took from Altair. This is your problem? No more sticks! You knock the stick out of his hand and onto the floor. You stomp on it and put it out. You both stare at the stomped out stick for a moment before looking back at each other. Um, sorry. Say that to the stick. What you forget about the stick? They're making everyone act weird, and their smoke was giving me a terrible headache. Don't you feel it? My head feels fine. The smoke is rather calming, actually. Yeah, but it's too much. It's making everyone go crazy or something. I think you're the only crazy one here, Marshy. You're not helping! Hmm. How is the smoke not affecting you now? He asks. Um, it's- I think it's this flower. You hold out the flower to him. The petals wave at him as he as he stares at it, both in awe and confusion. Did it just wave at me? Yeah, it does that. It's giving me enough fresh air that the smoke isn't bothering me. It might help you too, but you need to stick close to me. Got it. He says, moving a bit closer to you. What are you doing with this flower anyway? It's kind of helping me navigate this place, and also keeping me alive. Well, um, but we need to get everyone out of here. I don't see why, personally. Is being happy really a bad thing? Damien says. Just because you're not used to it doesn't mean it is. It's not a bad thing, but all of this isn't normal. It's fake. He's silent for a moment as he thinks to himself. All right, then how do you plan on getting everyone out? I'm working on that. First, we need to get more people on our side. Damien justice for you to go ahead of him. Lead the way. Okay, stay close. Okay, where... Let's see. Um, yeah, there's a lot of rooms in here. Eeny, meeny, miny. This one. Knock, knock. That's a storage closet. Not in here. Uh, knock, knock. Huh. Get in here, bro. <laughs> Get. Uh. You put your ear on the door to see if anyone is coming near. So, you have you thought of a plan on how to get everyone out of here? Damien questions as he lift as looking at you with what you could guess is a quizzical look from his stoic face. I'm trying to listen. 
I thought I heard stepping. Okay. I think it'd be easier to hear with those giant ears you have, he says. There's no one there, so what's your plan? I haven't gotten that far yet. It's been like five seconds. Relax! I shouldn't be surprised by this, Damien mutters. Both of you hear people talking from around the corner. You quickly grab Damien and shove him into your room. Would you stop shoving me? Damien shoots a glare at you. Sorry, and like I said, someone was coming. I heard footsteps. Hey, what are you doing here? A voice speaks up from within the room. You just entered. You both turn towards the voice and see Remy. Uh, oh, oh, okay, it's just Remy. Hey, uh, do you know where Dan is? I have his flower. You hold the flower at the Remy. The petals wave slightly as if to say hello. Remy stares at the flower for a moment. I can help you look for him, he says as he looks back at you. Okay, sweet, let's go. What about the person outside? Uh, we'll just be extra sneaky. Okay? Guys, listen. We need to be really, really sneaky, okay? Also, Remy, you need to stay close. This is what's making us, you know, act normal, okay? It has, like, some aura to it. And it's making every- and, yeah. Basically, the little sticks- that one's missing. But the little sticks that are given off the smoke- they're making everyone act really cuckoo, and this flower is the- Do not open the door yet, bro! <laughs> okay, it's fine. <laughs> we need to be extra- extra sneaky, okay? Is it- is the coast- is the- is the coast clear? Is it- is it safe? <laughs> okay, it's safe. Okay, now... These sticks! Need to go! These ones, they're bad. Okay. We need to find... Uh, literally anyone. We just need to find everyone. Let's check... Here? This is the hallway. This is the hallway. Okay, this is fine. Um, this is the storage closet. What's in here? This is another hallway. I'm going in a circle. Okay, we've been this way. Let's try, let's try upstairs. Wait. Okay, no one's coming. Uh, that door's open. That door's open. That's not a good thing. That door's also open. Um, um, well, this one's a hallway. Uh... Let's try... Let's try the room at the end of the hall. It's... A storage room? Yes. I think. It's a really big storage room. Is actually, is there anything... Lights. Lights is not going to help in this situation. What will help is getting rid of the sticks. Are you guys getting rid of the sticks? Those sticks are bad. I mean, let's yeah, let's peek in here. What? Huh? Hello? Okay, it's safe in here. Get! Come here! Come here! Where are you going? Is there someone coming? Okay, I think someone's coming. I think someone's coming. I think someone's coming. <laughs> okay. We can't fight over the doors, guys. Okay. I think it's safe. Okay. Is it safe? Is it safe? Oh my god, there's a person. <laughs> you continue through the halls with Damien and Remy in tow. While turning the corner, you see Annalee and Altair talking with each other. You quickly push... Dam both Damien and Remy. What's wrong? The, uh, Remy asks in somewhat of a panic. What did I say about shoving? Emily and Altair are there! <laughs> hey, Altair, did you hear something? Emily says, your ears switch nervously. Oh, I see. 
Damien says. He glances around the hall you're in before grabbing your arm and dragging you and Remy into another room. He pushes you into the room before closing the door behind him. Ow. Okay, I've learned my lesson about shoving. Good. We're safe in here, right? Remy says somewhat cautiously. Yes, please, come in. A voice says. All of you turn to see Marianne sitting on the bed in the corner of the room. She stares at you with a tired expression. Oh, we're sorry. Did, did we didn't know someone was in here. We'll get out of... No. Damien stops Remy before he can leave. You're not getting us caught. Stay here until those two pass. Uh, okay. You're Marianne, right? A uh, swan's friend. Yep. Marianne says with a slow nod. She then holds her hand up to cover her mouth as she yawns. You seem tired. Yeah, you kind of woke me up from a nice nap. Oh, we're sorry, Remy says as he backs up a bit. We can leave. Not yet, Damien interjects again. Nah, it's fine. I didn't need sleep anyway, Marianne says. I kind of want to walk around actually, so if you all don't mind. She gets up from the bed and walks towards the door. She pauses as Damien is too stubborn to move out of the way. Excuse me, she says. It's probably safe to leave now. You shift your ears and try to get a better hearing of what's outside the room. You don't hear any voices or footsteps, so it's safe to assume the others are gone by now. Yeah, I don't hear anything. May I leave? Marianne asks. You can join us if you want. Marianne thinks for a moment before shrugging. Sure. Why not? Great. Let's get out of here then. Move out of the way, Damien. Get out of the way. Okay. Now we have to figure out where the rest of the people are and how to navigate this place. Okay, guys? But we have to be... Oh, uh, before we... Marianne, you need, you need to stick close, okay? This... So, TLDR, the, the sticks, the smoky sticks, they're making everyone act really, really weird. And this flower is making us act normal because it's giving us fresh air, I think. Or something like that so just stick close to us and you'll be okay got it now let's get out of here